Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. In this one, I would like to show you how quickly you can install N8N using Coolify. So let's get started. Click on the project, we add a new resource. I'm just going for this one, the standard one. I click localhost, I click standalone Docker. And the only thing now over here, I gotta, uh, I want to put this on my own custom domain. It's amazing to tourist 369uk Add an A record paste and put in the IPv4, I paste it, return of proxy, put this on one minute, I hit save and we hit save here as well. Let's go back here, double check everything, it's not saved here, we'll just do this again, hit save. So I'll just hit deploy now and kaboom, there it is. So let's get started. I am logged in into my own Coolify environment, I got my DNS provider set up in here. If you're unfamiliar with how to do this, get back to my previous video. Um, so let's get started. Click on the project. We add a new resource. We look down in this list. N8N and N8N with Postgres SQL. I have no idea, so I'm just going for this one, the standard one. I click localhost. I click standalone Docker. Like to just give this N8N as a name, and the only thing now over here, I gotta, uh, I want to put this on my own custom domain instead of this random one that's generated. So I'm going to say uh, like this, and then uh, I want it like N8N dot amazing tutorials 369 uk and I hit save. Now the only thing left to do is to put this in Cloudflare, in the DNS provider, add brackets, add an A record, paste, and put in the IPv4 address of the server that we're putting it on. So in this case, it's the same as uh, what I previously did. So I'm putting this on the same Coolify server where Minio is also hosted. I paste it, turn of proxy, put this on one minute. I have no idea why I'm doing this, but I'm seeing this from other tutorials. I'm like, okay, copy. <laughs> And uh, let's see, and, and I think, oh yeah, I hit save. Very important thing to do. We'll go back and we hit save here as well. Let's go back here, double check everything. It's not saved here. We'll just do this again, hit save. Okay, beautiful. And I'll just hit deploy now. And this is now I only need to wait and let this thing do its thing and and we'll just have it. Okay, I start to see something over here that's green. So I hit close and I refresh the page just to be sure. Okay, running, green, green. It says unhealthy. I'm still not sure what that means and what to do about that, but I'll just accept it and go over here and kaboom. There it is. I got my N8N set up. So there we go, off, hit next. Get started and I've got it set up and that's it. And let's let's just test if something like a webhook would work. And you might not know what a webhook is, but that's something that should be working with like a setup and stuff. So I can just do this and open up a new URL over here, paste it in here, listen for test events, hit enter, and yeah, it just works. So it's all set up correctly. And I can get started and start making cool scenarios and n it n and like that easy. Before ending this tutorial, I would like to re-emphasize the incredible amount of value that we're getting here from these things like Coolify and n it n Coolify for making it this quick and easy to get it all going there. Um, and n it n for being like the automation provider here. And when you look at automations and you're curious, you want to get into that kind of stuff, um, very likely you get to uh, hear about Zapier or Make and uh, proprietary software like those two, uh, but many other automation software. Um, not only do they process your data and, and can see what's going on, they, they also have their prices to them and they're limiting you and to say, well, you have maybe 10,000 uh, executions or, or zaps or whatever. And for that, you pay 
10 monthly and for 20,000 you maybe pay 15 monthly and for 100,000 you pay maybe like 30, 40 monthly, I don't know. And then it just goes up and up and up because that's the whole cycle of, of yeah, trying to sell things. You gotta limit things. But with open source tools like Enid and the limits disappear it becomes unlimited it becomes you get unlimited amount of users about unlimited amount of executions unlimited amount of storage well okay yeah you got to check your vps if if the storage there is is there but relatively speaking it's kind of unlimited i mean um when you compare these prices and stuff and um you get all the stuff on your own custom domain like and it and that amazing tutorials 369.uk I can change and it end with automations dot amazing tutorials or whatever words I'm coming up with. And so I think it is incredibly powerful. Yes, it might be a little bit more difficult uh, to, to get through. Sometimes you see a little bit more error codes and it's slightly less polished, but when you're getting the hang of it, there's no turning back, right? And that's the beauty of this kind of stuff. And when we realize this kind of power that is in there using open source stuff and, and getting getting around with this, that is just incredible. And yeah, that's just how I wanted to end this video. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah. <laughs>